When I first started out, people thought it was really weird. But when they read this article I wrote in Beef, I had two other cattle magazines call me up because they wanted to reproduce this in other cattle magazines. So even though when they met me personally, I acted really kind of quirky and weird, my writing wasn't quirky and weird. This is the basic design. Okay. Now you wrote down those pages that I told you. Yeah, about. of course. Hopefully her legacy will endure as really a major pioneer. In fact, you can't name anybody else in the world that does what she does. Oh, I should get that. Yes, you should. Okay. I think what's valuable is she has it to say from within she knows how she felt when she was young. I'm going to talk about some other different kinds of thinking. And while we're on the subject of autism, I want to explain it's a very, very big spectrum. Temple Grandin is so inspiring. She lived it. I mean, it's her story. That kind of thinking just makes you feel good. Put the horse in there and let the horse just investigate it on his own. You see, novelty is attractive if he's allowed to approach. She's a visionary leader. She leads by example. She has an idea of what a leader looks like and what that feels like. Brains that are not working right have a tension shifting slowness. It takes much longer to shift back and forth. When people have children and they say, well, maybe my child will grow up to be president of the United States. Well, for us, we can say, well, maybe my child will grow up to be Temple Grandin. Back in the 70s, I had a friend that um, was, a, that was an artist. And I used to go over to the art building all the time. And somebody had scrawled on the wall of the art building. Obstacles are those terrible things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. Well, I never forgot that. She's a hero, a guiding force, and a mentor. She's given people hope, direction, and clarity. Mom, why don't you learn how to shake right? Mom. All right, now squeeze the right. She works to spread the message that true vision comes from all kinds of people. In her words, the world needs all kinds of minds. Of encourage the kids that are kind of quirky and different. You know, they get different labels, Asperger, mild autism, dyslexia, psychiatric association is going to come up with a new label called social communication disorder or some learning disorder. Help the kids that are kind of different to succeed. Because some of those minds that are kind of different can do some really great things. I want to get you away from overgeneralizing and leaving out all the details. Details are important, but the thing is, you got to pick out which details are the really, really, really important details. An acclaimed international speaker and author of books that have been on the New York Times bestseller list, Dr. Temple Grandin transforms her students, revolutionizes the livestock industry, and inspires countless people with her sheer will, intelligence, and extraordinary life story. When I um, was a little kid, I had no language. I had all the full autistic symptoms. And fortunately, um, mother got some good advice in the very beginning when I was two and a half, from Bronson Crothers at Boston Children's Hospital. And she uh, was a neurologist, made sure I didn't have epilepsy, and referred my mother to a very good little speech therapy school. And I had very good early therapy, because in, back in the 50s, they just put kids like me in an institution. But mother could see that I was improving. But she did not spring like Athena from the head of Zeus fully armed and all was. It was a long, complicated, trauma-filled journey for both of us. The journey is what I believe in. The journey is what matters. Parents come to this conference thinking, if my child can be one-tenth of what Temple Grandin is, my life will be so much better. And so it's her example and her ideas and her caring and her, frankly, honestly, her real brilliance. Imagine that the kid's brain is like empty internet. You gotta fill it up. People wait in line to get, just ask her one question about their, their child or their student. And she hits it right on the head every time. My granddaughter's name is Laura. Laura found out she was autistic in the fourth grade. She told me that Temple Grandin was coming to town. I didn't even know who Temple Grandin was, but she had heard of her. She even typed up questions for me to bring today because she told me about this conference. Can I drive? Yes. She has definitely affected the lives of millions of people. 
I'm, I'm not speaking just to the child, but the parents, the whole family. A thing on driving, a year on easy roads. Right. You need to get I, out in the middle of a big open field and you guys just learn how to drive. I feel just full of hope, gratitude. Gratitude that there is a temple and hope that Laura will be able to fulfill what she wants to be. I just hope her future is going to be better because I came today. You can tell I'm going to cry. <laughs> it was wonderful. I think the most valuable thing we have is insight into one another and a kind of spiritual generosity matters the most. Yeah, you got to get them out there and get them doing these things. She's provided a role model for our community, and we can always point to her and say, you can't put me down, because Temple has shown us that talent and ability matter. Then you don't have fear stress. So a really She really galvanizes thought in areas she's interested in. She's very provocative as a lecturer and as a teacher and as a writer but it's just a sudden novel stimulus. She's a world-famous animal scientist who has built her successful career over more than 20 years at Colorado State University. Also, he's the one that helped get me hired here. <laughs> I got self-esteem by being good at what I do. You know, when I show somebody my drawings and they go, ooh, you drew that? I remember one time in an agricultural engineering meeting when I first started, they thought I was weird and they didn't want to talk to me. And then I whipped out one of my drawings. Then I got some respect. But the thing that was frustrating is, when you were a girl, especially back in the 70s and the 80s, you had to be twice as good as a man. From the time she was a child, Temple developed a special bond with animals, realizing that she shares some visual experiences and panic responses with herd animals. I was in Australia about 1997 and one of the plants that I visited was telling me Temple designed our system and this is a Temple Grandin beef plant. They said you know when she was here she climbed up the chutes. She walked right in the chutes just like the cattle and of course that was one of the early things that you heard about her. She is thinking like the animals think and she taught all of us to do the same. Animals saved her she often says. In turn she has vastly improved the lives of food animals with her insights into behavior and her innovations in humane livestock handling. What she calls logical thinking has been a revelation to food animal producers. She was very instrumental in developing the animal handling guidelines for industry that over time became accepted and, and, and recognized as the industry bible for the handling of livestock. It's almost uncanny that she landed here at precisely the time when the stirrings on farm animal welfare were occurring across the world. Do the times determine the people or do the people determine the times? She's a powerful argument for it being the person. The industry was evolving and, and moving ahead with, with more and more cognizance of animal welfare, but Temple really accelerated that. She gave us a focal point. That's about as good as you're going to get. I worked with McDonald's Corporation on their animal welfare auditing program, where you measure very simple things in a meat plant, like how many cattle are mooing in Bellerin, how many cattle are fall down. I can count those things. And I can tell, am I getting better, am I getting worse? I'm really interested in outcomes. He's seeing the sunspot. Look, look at the ears. He's right orienting to that sunspot.